was a call through grace. And uh, page 11, the knowledge of the call to preach, the revelation of the indwelling spirit. Uh, around the middle of um, 11, where it says the revelation of the indwelling spirit, I'm going to read the first part of it. It says, His Son in me, the conscious knowledge of the indwelling Son of God is the indispensable inner witness of God's call to preach. It is true, of course, that every Christian, every Christian can say Christ lives in me, uh, and that the outliving of the indwelling Christ is not in the normal Christian life. But, for the preacher, those words, his son and me, have far-reaching implications. And what that means is that for the, for the person who's called to preach the gospel or to teach the gospel, there is a different nature, there's a different dosage, there's a different uh, 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 deposit of the awareness of the Son of God in you. That is, you, you are compelled not just simply by the presence, but by the oughtness to do something. That's why when a man is called to preach, you don't have to coach or coax that person to do it. The oughtness and the, the burning and the yearning to do it is built in to the Son of God who lives in you. Trust me. You never have to force a person to preach who's called. Never. Because the presence of the Son that lives in you gives you the option to do so. And you can tell when something is from God, you don't have it, it has you. You understand? You can't shake it. Now you can retire from pastoring but you can't retire from preaching. <laughs> preaching is not a vocation, it's a calling. Mm -hmm. And there is a difference between a calling and a vocation. Your job is what you're paid for. Your calling is what you're made for. Ooh. You get that? Your job is what you're paid for. Your calling is what you're made for. Yes. And God did not make any carbon copies. Mm. All, right. All of us are originals, but most, most of us die a copy. Did you get that? All of us are originals, mm -hmm. but most of us die because we're trying to be something yeah, on now. that God didn't intend for us to be. Like All right. When God made you like you were, mm -hmm. now let me tell you something about the awesome power of the love of God mm -hmm. that distinguishes His love from the love of every human being. Human beings, when they know bad things about you, sometimes their mind changes. But God knows everything about you and still loves you. Everything. When he called you, he knew exactly what your limitations were, what you would do, how you would fumble his love, how you would mishandle his word. He knew all of that, and yet, Because when he called 